Fellow Ghanaians, a very good evening to all of you, and thank you so much for joining us here on Upfront on the Joy News channel. Well, it's the Wednesday, the 13th day of April 2022, a day where the Supreme Court of Ghana ruled in a 5-2 majority decision that a member of parliament for Asin North, James Jachikwesen, should not carry himself as a member of parliament or should stop the performance of his parliamentary duties, if I could put it that way. Lots of you have been talking about it. You've expressed views about it. You've talked about how for a long time you now see some judges dissenting. But well, that's not our focus for this evening, because this evening we want to look at the state-owned enterprise, and one that concerns all of us. In fact, it concerns you and it concerns me. We're talking about the provider of water. And here we're talking about the Ghana Water Company Limited. I'm sure you remember that in 2019, they made a loss of 2 billion 620 million. That's according to the state ownership report of 2019. Or even if you look at the 2020 report, you'd see a similar figure. But in 2020, a bit of improvement, making a loss of 938 million. But you would ask yourself that question. Why is the Ghana Water Company Limited not at least breaking even? Now, what you see now, total revenue for uh, the financial year ending 20, uh, 31st December 2020, that's 1.3 billion uh, Ghana cities. Direct cost, and here when we talk about direct cost, we say uh, that these are the expenses that a business incurs directly to make that product or service. So the cost incurred to directly provide you and me water is 1.44 billion automatically you realize that the ghana water company limited its direct cost exceeds its total revenue now the operating expense 747 million and as you can see uh, its operating profit is minus 851 million so that's a bit of loss already and then totally uh, getting down to 938 million Ghana cities as loss. If you look at the 2019 figure of 2.6 billion, you may say, well, that's a bit of an improvement. But maybe if you get to 2018 and you look at 667 million as loss, you'd realize that the Ghana Water Company Limited is still not performing very well. In fact, if you look at the state ownership report of 2020, it talks about the Ghana Water Company since 2017 making losses and currently finds its services, its liquidity position remains precarious and it underscores the difficulty in meeting short-term obligations. Now watch this carefully. Ghana Water Company meters bottom line continues to show huge losses year by year, obsolete infrastructure, low tariffs, non-revenue water above benchmark levels, illegal connections continue to bedevil the operations of the company. And if you look at the dynamic effects, we're told about how they didn't submit their plans and programs on time, however able to indicate the levels of implementation of some of its plans and programs. And when it talks about management and improvement, it says most of the company's plans were not submitted. Others were submitted way beyond the deadline for submission. And the levels of implementation of projects, however, was good. So this evening, we want to look at the Ghana Water Company Limited. We want to find out what's the problem with the Ghana Water Company Limited. There's a lot of talk also about tariff increases. So we want to find out losses and tariff increment should the Ghana Water Company Limited be a profit-making entity. Or maybe, like the service they provide, they should just try and break even. Or would you say they can make losses as long as they provide us with the services we require? My name is Winston Amoa, and this is Upfront on the Joy News channel. When I return after these messages, I'll be introducing my guest for the conversation tonight. And then we get straight into the conversation, and as always, you can join us, share your thoughts with us. Uh, you can join us on Facebook, put a question there. I'd uh, certainly see it, and I would ask that question on your behalf. On Twitter, uh, join News on TV. We'll find your questions and ask on your behalf. We'll be right back.
So welcome back. And uh, this evening, uh, my guest is one who knows a lot about water. As a lecturer and as a water engineer, he's currently the MD of the Ghana Water Company Limited. My guest, Dr. Clifford Brimer. Doc, good evening, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for making time to join us. I believe you're doing very well. I'm doing very well. And the Ghana Water Company Limited is doing well as well. Doing fantastically. You're doing fantastic. Yes. But the evidence doesn't show that you're doing fantastic. It depends on what you look at. You made a loss of 938 million. Why is it so difficult for you to make profits? And I'm happy that the OPEX was positive. Though it was high, mm -hmm. 747, the revenue was 1.3 billion. Yes. What it means is that for our operating expenses, we're able to manage ourselves. And if we're allowed to, by the environment, by the institutional setup, we would have been making some surpluses. I will not call it profit because there is no water company. I can tell you, we are really supposed to be measured by our efficiency and not by profitability. No, but if you talk about, I mean... So let, let, me, let me just, let me just uh, get to you. You see, the 938 billion million... And, Million, sorry, and then the 2.6 billion. It's not because somebody has gone spending that amount of money. 2015, all the projects, capital investment the state had done in water sector were all on land to Ghana Water Company Limited. Mm -hmm. These are loans that are taken in the interest of the state to give water to the people of Ghana, irrespective of where you are located. Whether your area is viable, it is not viable, it is the state's responsibility to give you water. Mm -hmm. And now those capital investments have been all lent to Ghana Water Company. Mm -hmm. Today, as of yesterday, we were looking at our numbers. It has risen to 4.2 billion Ghana cities mm -hmm. because they are dollar denominated. And then we convert them everywhere we do in cities. Yeah, but and so all this are part of the analysis that they do. Mm -hmm. So they will work out and they still bring this in. And unfortunately for GWCL, these online loans have no space in the tariff buildup. And so where is GWCL going to set aside an amount of money to be able to pay for this? Oh. It is on our books. Mm -hmm. We are working on, since 2017, we've been working very hard to see how the state can really look at it. Because it's making our books look dirty. Mm -hmm. When in actual fact, the books are not dirty but just some uh, policy decision that has created the, 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 the debt on us. Because Ghana, GWCL has done so much, and I can tell you from 2017 to today. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, 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 but hold on. If I look at your direct cost, and here, we're, I mean, let's be very simple here. We're looking at the expenses you incurred directly to provide us with water. The evidence here is that it's 1.4 billion. That is more than your total revenue for the year. So even before we get into the loans, you start with a loss. Because that's, that's you spend a, more that, yes, that's, that is, to provide the water that we take. That's according to your, I, I mean, financials. It says you spend more to provide us water just by way of direct cost. Now, your operating expenses haven't been factored in here. So if your operating expenses are factored in, we're looking at 851 million net loss. Before we get into your earnings, before uh, interest, tax, and you know depreciation and amortization, so th those would and, come and, in. And, 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 yes, and, but we we we're not getting there. I say even before we get to your amortization, you're already running loss. So where's the justification that the government onlines this to you and creating problems for you? One. Mm -hmm. We pay compensation. Mm -hmm. By law, it's the state's responsibility to pay compensation on the new projects that we undertake. These are not costs that you can defer. These are not costs. They have to be taken from our operational money. And so whoever is running the, the, the accounting processes will see it as an expenditure you have incurred. What compensations are you talking about here? Compensation for land. And I can tell you, I just requested for Compensation that were due before 2017. That's huge that we have paid. How much is that? Uh, I might not have direct cost, but that's huge. So that's, so, so, so that's for the it's, it's 2022 one, financial year. Yes, it's one year. It's, it's, it runs over. 
Because some of them, they come as and when the people then request. And as and when we finish preparation of those things. That's one. And those costs are not part of our tariff. There are also capital costs that they see as direct costs. Because before I can achieve an efficiency of the level that I want today, mm -hmm. I need to work on some activities. Yes. And I have to spend. And those capital expenses are not captured. But just when you a, go just, to the PUIC, just, just a minute. No, no, just no, a minute. Just yes, a minute. go ahead. Yes. These are costs that have not been captured directly. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get them, you will not be able to achieve. The last, uh, last year, I can't remember the month, Tema were complaining of water and people started sending some uh, pictures on Facebook that were not right because we were working on the 42-inch transmission pipeline from Kong. Mm. And this is a transmission pipeline that is 55 years old and still pipes normally are supposed to last for 30 years. So 25 years ago, those pipes should have been replaced. They haven't done that. And the water that you treat in Pong will have to run through that pipe and get to Temabusta before it's distributed. The water is leaking. So how are you going to achieve the results of your consumer getting water in Tema if you don't mend it? And that has not been catered for as far as the tariff was concerned. Hold on a second, hold on a second. When you talk about that not being catered for as far as the tariffs are concerned, what I know is that the tariffs are supposed to cater for all your expenditure. That's, so, that, is the, no, that is what it's supposed to be. Yes, so that's what it's supposed to be. And so I am a consumer. What I know is that I am paying you the right tariff. You are not paying the cost reflective tariff. Oh, hold on, I, I, I'll get to that. Because I have seen the calculations of PURC. They tell you this is how much we want. No, this is how much we're going to spend. And this is how much it would cost us to be able to be efficient. So isn't that done for you? Why would you come back and tell me that you're making losses when you would have, be, you be, should be, have factored be, be, that be, be, into your expenses? Because if today mm -hmm. you go to PURC and ask the PURC how much or what percentage of the request of GWCL have you ordered for them as tariff? They'll tell you they have not given you cost reflective tariff. And that is why SIGA on its own captured that low tariffs. Low tariff, this is an organization independent of GWCL. That is determining it. Mm -hmm. And so if you now cite an external uh, uh, issue as contributing to the losses of GWCL, it tells you that the organization itself, the institutional structures around it, does not allow it to do what you think you should do. And so you ask yourself, You'd have 938 uh, million. Yes. Yes. Net loss. What was this used for? And so we do performance audits. Mm -hmm. So not the business audit that has been done to provide these numbers. You will have to go because it's a water utility. If you want to have your health services running properly, water must be provided. If you want to have your businesses running properly, you will have to run the businesses properly. And if I am allowed to make profits, I tell you, I have three categories of customers, as I said today. Okay. One, domestic. The tariff is 5.60 per cubic meter. Mm -hmm. I have commercial. It is 9.2 cities per cubic meter. And I have industrial which is 11.11 cities per cubic meter. Mm -hmm. If I am supposed to run this business to make profits, and I have 100 cubic meters, or just say 10 cubic meters of water, if I give it to domestic, I get 56 cities at the same production cost. If I give it whole to only commercial, I get 92 cities. If I give it to commercial, I get 111.1 cities per the 100 cubic, uh, sorry, the, the 10, 10 cubic meters. I the 10 cubic meters. So if I'm supposed to make profit, where do you think I'll send the money? If I have the independence? Where would you send them? I'll send it to the industrial. So what will you do to the states? If I send it to the industrial and I don't send it to you, because if you don't complain, you might fall sick. The state will have to spend a lot of money in, in running the hospitals. 
so that you go there. And that is why such infrastructure... So are you suggesting that we should, you should be allowed to make losses? It's not allowed to make losses. That's so, what so we're are saying. You suggesting, you see, we, if you talk of losses, you, you, you are talking as if... And, and, and that was the reason why we will not understand. Why Cocoa Board, airport company, will be lumped with Ghana Water Company and then giving the same whip. These are three different entities. And these are three different... Uh, uh, they have they are operated within three different environments, and so you cannot lump them together and then take. Why, why, why can't you lump them together? Because I don't have a choice in some of the decisions to make. That's what I'm just. I just use these ten cubic meters of water to explain to you with these three categories. Mm -hmm. If you want me to make profit, I will make profit. But what it means is that there will be a social cost, and who bears the social cost? What will be that social cost? The social cost is that domestic customers might be denied of water. But these domestic customers you talk about don't get water all the time. Eh? Exactly, exactly. But so, 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 so I mean, isn't there a cost already? Because it is I mean, not a cost. I, I, I'm I'm, sure. I'm, unfortunately for you, mm -hmm. you cannot say that no, because there, sure there are available mm -hmm. res waters, so for, uh, sorry, available water in Accra are so wholesome. A lot of them are polluted. And so in my house, where I don't get 24-7, I have receptacles. Mm -hmm. GWCL gives... Uh, uh, Legon, sorry, East Legon, mm -hmm. some particular days. Mm -hmm. I fill my containers. The days that they don't give me, the water that is in my receptacle is GWCL water, mm -hmm. which you, I use. Mm -hmm. So I might not be getting 24 7, <laughs> but I use I GWCL. You say? I have a bottle. Probably a choice. Well, it's or, a choice I've made. Exactly. It's, so it's, so it's, it's a, a choice. choice I've made because G GWC doesn't get to where I am. Exactly, because the states will have to invest in the capital investment. And the states runs the country across board. Should they stop doing the roads and go and finish water? Should they, so there should be a balancing act as a state to make sure that, yes, you will have to bring ingenuity in getting the system running the way you want to run, but not to run it down completely. And so there are some uh, agencies that you cannot be described as profit making because one, they don't even determine the tariffs that they, 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 they set. Two, and when they even go asking for the tariff, they are not giving the hundred percent of the request because it has been pruned down, mm. pruned down in a, a state or in a level where you will still have to argue, you don't even get it. Two, you don't determine where the investment goes. The state says that but, 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 Bunkuru Yoyo mm -hmm. requires water. Mm -hmm. Sorry for using there. It's just an example. Sure. Or town A requires water. And so we are going to get water to them because cholera is there. Probably other waterborne diseases are there. So we want to get it there. Economics is not part of it. Profitability is not part of it. It is the social benefits of the product that is leading the state to go there. So the state goes there to provide the service at a cost that cannot be taken out of the, the place. What do we do? So it means that from all sets, you have been set up to lose there. Hold on a second. When you say from onset, you've been set up to lose there, why do you make reference to losses in areas that the state wants to send water to? Because it's a social responsibility. But are they not going to pay for the water? But, but what tariff? Because some of them, mm -hmm. I even left out the, 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 the zero to five. Mm -hmm. The zero to five cubic meters, they, 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 they pay three cities, yes. uh, 3.25 per cubic meter. Mm -hmm. And so in that area, you, they spend maybe zero to five. The level goes down. There are no industries there. And so we will have to, PRC, when they are graduating the tariff, they do it this way, in such a way that I come to an aggregated average tariff. That can be of some essence to me. And if I want to raise my average tariff, then I begin to juggle the water around. But I have a social responsibility. And that social me. responsibility, who pays for the benefit and who quantifies that social benefit that the people get? It's a cost, because if I take it away, there will be an effect. Are you suggesting that if you had your own way, you wouldn't take water to some of the places where there's water currently? If the regulator 
will judge me to be profitable and will not judge me for efficiency. And we'll just be looking at what comes onto the table after the accountants, the auditors do their mathematics. Then, if I'm supposed to be judged, I, I, of course, if you go to write an exam, you want to pass. Mm. So I'll take a decision that will make me pass. But this is the case. You are being guided to get into a direction. So what do you do? And that is why you go to, you see, Ghana is not an island. What is happening in the other countries? This country has brought foreign people, private people, to come and run Ghana Water Company before. There was AVRL in this country. By the close of the, their period, the close of their work, what indicator do you have as a state? 2017, we were asked to come as a team to run Ghana Water Company. Okay. What are the indicators today? For me, these are the very critical things we should be looking at. Because Ghana is not an island. Ghana is not the only place that we are running the water. So, so, so if, if you're going to be judged this way, you probably would deny some communities water. Because if you take water to those communities, you say it will not help your cause. Is that a, is it, I mean, is, is, is See, that your understanding? If, if, exactly. Because if Ghana Water Company is to go by the standards that they are measuring us at the moment, which is a wrong measure, it's just like using the wrong tool to measure somebody. You are telling Ghana Water Company, any investment that you want to make, do it in Kumasi and Accra. Because they have industries who will be paying 11.11. They have commercial who will be paying 9.2 for you. And so when you add the little of the 5.6, you are able to make some reasonable uh, money for your savings. But the state is not run that way. The state is not run that way. There are several companies. You can't you can, just be looking at Ghana Water Company. Why don't you try yourself to check how water utilities are being run, even in the sub-region. As we sit today, Ghanaians will not see it because the, the hole was deep. We've been filling it. It's not covered yet. And so nobody is seeing that the gravel has gone down to fill the hole. It was 600 million in 2018. By 2019, moved to 2.6 billion. Did you, did you check what came with the rates? Yes, I've checked. To do your analysis properly. Nobody, nobody spent... 2.6, just that way. So you do your analysis properly. Your operating expense was 2.2 billion, while your total revenue was 925 million. That's according to SIGA. You doubt exactly. These, you doubt these figures? I, I, of course, I will. I will, I will. What, your auditors are the Ghana Audit Service. You doubt them? The, the, you see, these are especially. I wanted to respond to when you put it on mm -hmm. that some of the timelines. Mm -hmm. You see, I keep telling them... It's but but really before you go there, let, let me yes. just ask. The, the Ghana Audit Service audited you. Yes. Together with your team. Yes. They asked your team members questions. Yes. They explained all of these. And they said your total operating expense was $2.2 How do you doubt that? I've, I've not doubted it. I don't think... I, I've just felt that probably... This is a summary. Mm -hmm. If you take the whole book, then we'll be able to point out the individual items, and you will see. You said you doubted that earlier. No, I probably, they, probably they, that was a misquote. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was what I really meant. Because the auditors come, they, they, they meet us. Yes. It's just that the concern we had, or we were having, is the rate of change of the auditors. And that's what delays, and I was going to the delay mm -hmm. of our, our, our reporting. Because you have an auditor, they will have to get to all the regions. Because we are running a semi uh, this decentralized kind of thing is deconcentrated. The regions do most of the pressures on their own, and they have to aggregate them. So they cannot only sit at Ghana Water Company head office to be able to do the auditing. So it takes time. So that's why some of the reports are not coming. But for these numbers, that's what I keep saying. And sometimes, also, you must have to do a lot of investments. You'll have to make a lot of investment to be able to recoup some little revenue to come. And I'm happy that from the two persons that you're talking about, though, I still feel the details when it's presented, we'll be able to answer them better than the summaries. Mm. We've now moved, isn't it not dramatic? 
And the percentage drop should have also been projected from 2.6 billion, if somebody moved it down to 938 million. Eight, yes. One, either the person did a lot of investments in the previous year, and the benefits started coming in the subsequent year. And what it means is that going forward, it's still going to go down. That is what we will have to be looking at. And I think that as far as performances are concerned, I, yesterday I was telling you your, your, the way I was interviewed. 2017, the non-revenue of Ghana Water which has been highlighted, was 54%. Mm -hmm. Today, 2022, or maybe 20, by the close of 2021, we are doing a 45%. Okay. Nine percentage change is so dramatic. Whoever has managed a water utility or has supervised a water utility will tell you that it takes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do this. I can tell you today, the bulk meters of, we have 426 production centers and booster stations and outlets. GWCL has purchased the 426 bulk meters. They are all smart meters. They are not mechanical meters. They will relay the information to us. You don't even need somebody. GWCL staff are installing them. Our industrial meters are as old as you can think about. GWCL has purchased 226 industrial meters to fix. Go to GWCL production centers. There are a lot of improvements. Yesterday I was telling your, your, your lady, Thema Booster, 1965. Pumps are still there. Pumps mm. that were fixed in 1965? I am telling you. So when you come in, then you understand why, if you talk of profitability, you will miss the mark. GWCL, and these are not, this, what I'm talking about, it's not like loan, it's not like taking uh, uh, foreign funds because of projects. These are operational money. We are bringing four brand new pumps from Germany. And by the close of June, because some of these pumps are not on the shelf, you have to take the parameters and send to the manufacturer. And they will take time and manufacture it to fit your system. And that's exactly what we're doing. By the end of June, we're expecting those pumps here in Ghana. And I'm sure by the end of July, you will have. If you go to Tema Booster, Valves that our offices will take 45 minutes to 10. Are you hearing? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. And in the process of 10 minutes, if it locks, you have to go back to zero and start again. How can you run a company with such an infrastructure? Today, you go there, you have an automatic valve that regulates itself. So there's no more pressure. Go to Ashanti production, Barakesi. 30 years, 50 years valves, mm -hmm. causing leakages, making us backwash, and losing a lot of water. Just spending additional money to change the valve to actuated valves, automated. We've been able to recover in a day one million gallons of water. And that's 4,500 cubic meters. And this is enough to supply 45,000 people in Kumasi. Mm. How are you going to look at the costs that are incurred in doing that to the additional 45,000 people? This is like looking for a new project to add that volume of water. And just changing the processes, you are able to recover this. And that is the level we want to take the company to. And so when you, they don't do performance audits, and they do financial audit. This is what they were presenting. But I mean, talking about performance and financial audits, if you improve your performance, you become efficient. You've talked about your ability to get one million uh, you know, uh, uh, gallons of water. That would mean more water. More water would mean more revenue. Exactly. So if that is the case, then as you invest, we should be seeing increased revenue. And that is why from the 900 and 32 25 million, million. 25 million we came to 1.3 million or 1.3 billion hmm. is that not an increase 
Sometimes the, that's sometimes the water projects take time to recover themselves. And that is why we do them for long term. You cannot just do it today and expect everything today. It is difficult. So we have to be measured as a water utility. You have to be measured as a company that is constrained, not a company that is, has free will to do anything. Mm. The chemical suppliers have been in my office. The valve suppliers, the pipe suppliers, they followed all come. The chemical suppliers are getting an increase of their, this is to about 53, 60%. Ghana Water Company does not have the capacity to push this on you. We have to wait and send it to PRC in a major tariff review. This year we're going to have a major tariff review and that is data that we are bringing from about two years ago. Mm. And so you incur it and then present it later. And so if you are going to be measured the way they are measuring that straight jacket, uh, it, so, might, so, it so. might also lead us into equity problems. So you should be measured differently. Exactly. And that's what happens across the world. You should I'm not, be, you should I am be, not saying... You Ghana should be allowed to make no, losses. No, no. If you are measuring us by efficiency, it will drive the other side. Well, but if we are measuring you by efficiency, Dr. Brimer, let's look at it. We're measuring you by efficiency. You haven't measured me by efficiency. Hold on, hold on. No, you haven't. I said if. We're yes, but you haven't. You have incurred a cost. Yes. You have sold a service. Yes. Or a product. Yes. The product you sell, the cost of that project, of, of that product, is what we have. Yes. Unfortunately, the cost you incurred in providing or, uh, or in producing that product is more than the cost of the product. Why not? So why are you telling me, no, hold on a second, why are you telling me we should measure you based on performance when even if we were to do that, you are still making losses? Uh, which performance have you brought on the table? We have looked at you. It's, I mean, if what, we... What, even, you have... If, you have no, what? You, you see, you you see, see, no, we say your performance. Hold on a second. What are the performances? You say, what are the performances? Say, Financial performance? No, hold on, hold on. Hold you are leading to on. the profitability. No, 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 hold on, hold on. That's exactly because, what you're doing. Because if you... And you say we shouldn't, you shouldn't be allowed to make losses. No, so we if won't we, make losses. So, no. So if you, pro, I mean, produce uh, 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 you know, water, and it costs you 1.4 billion yes. to produce the water, yes. that's your direct cost. Yes. And you get 1.3 billion. Yes. And your operating expense. Yes. Is 700 million. Exactly. You are saying we should look at the performance. Okay. Yes. The performance we looked at, and 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 the fact that, for instance, you said you are going to look at, um, so your um, loss ratio. You've talked about it. That's that's non revenue. That's just no, one. No, yes. And so that is that. Hold on, just, hold, on, just, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Even when it comes to the collection ratio. Yes. The problem there. The, the Siga says you promised 97. You achieved uh, uh, 86. Why? This is an aggregate of government institutions and private collection. Our private collection is as high as 98. And sometimes in a month, you do for government collection 12%. And so when you aggregate it, you get it. And that is why we tell you this. Can you imagine Ghana Water Company going to disconnect Kolebu because they are owing Ghana Water Company? ECG is doing it. Exactly. ECG is doing it. And, and, and ECG actually moved from a loss of 1.4 billion in 2019 to a profit of 181 million. Exactly. So you have a tax force around going for their money. Exactly. We will do that. You go for the schools. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine Ghana Water Company going to do that? But that is not the case. Go to Odasu. Mm -hmm. Obasi, their mm -hmm. treatment plant. Mm -hmm. Galamse, it is a Ghanaian like you who will come and be talking and asking questions about not getting water in the house. Mm -hmm. Who went into the reservoir or the river to dig for gold for himself and the family or whoever they are doing it for? I take a hundred liters of water and instead of me recovering 95 of it. I am recovering 50. But the cost of this 100 has even increased, not reduction. Mm -hmm. And this 50 is what I'm going to tell, send to you. And the unit costs of the 5.6 still remain. Mm -hmm. 
So, this 50 out of the 100, 95 out of the 100, when I was doing my projection, I used 95. So I was going to make this much money at this tariff. And at the same tariff, you are rather making the 50. One, a number of people have been denied volumes of water. And once they don't get the volume of water, they are not going to pay. So you're, you're, just a minute, mm -hmm. just a minute. Now the 50, if it is 5.6, if you multiply 5.6 by 95, what do you get? 5.6 by, okay, let me just do that. 5.6 by 95. Yes, 5.6 by 95, let me just do that, okay, write down 5.6. Um, times 95, that gives you 532. 532? Yes. 50 times 5.6? 50 times 5.6. 50, 50. Yes. It's 280. 280? Yes. Where is the difference going? Tell me. Exactly. I, that's what I'm asking you. Because GWCL did not cause the reduction of their process loss to be 50%. Mm. It is the activities of a Ghanaian in the river that has caused that. So you're suggesting. If you go to Sechere Human, mm -hmm. yesterday I said it's in the news, they say Sechere. Sechere Human, three brand new pumps got crashed at the same time. Mm. And because it's an emergency, we needed to rush to get the new pumps back. Because instead of drawing, they are not waste uh, uh, water pumps. They are water pumps. So, they are fresh water pumps. They we're drawing silt. And so the impellers got crashed. And the system got crashed. There's nothing you could do. You must just replace them. Where is the boss going to go? Will it not be part of the expenses? So do we have to say that because the gallows said, ah, we should shut, or we should manage so that you can rush in and so go? You, you, you're saying that we have caused you problem. Most of the problems of Ghana Water Company are caused by ourselves. Three days ago, minister, when he was giving press conference, he mentioned a place at East Lebo. Mm -hmm. Somebody had four lines from our main line into a reservoir selling water to people who otherwise would have been getting the water. How come you never saw that until now? How can you see it when your lines are buried in the, on the ground? And we don't go into people's homes every day. That's why minister says that we should go to their houses and audit. Mm. When we got a signal that a facility they were not getting water, a good Samaritan, we got there the time East Legon was getting water. Our non-revenue department got there. Lo and behold, immediately they took off those lines. Everybody within the vicinity started getting water. And these four lines, only one, the smallest one, was the one that had a decoy, like a meter. Mm. So you measure it, he pays a domestic, this, and he was selling the water at commercial. Is it not a Ghanaian who is denying the other Ghanaian water? So you, you should be able this, to get him. Exactly, we've gotten him. Yes. But it took us time. And people suffered because of that. For all you know, people have been seeing trucks go there, fetch water, and go back. Within their vicinity, they were not getting water. The man doesn't have a borehole, but he was selling water. Somebody should have prompted us. But we're in an age of technology. It is expensive, my brother. There is technology for me to sit in my office. Yes. And then watch and see where the water is going illegally. You cannot do that. How are we going to do that? One. The lines on which you are going to put those scatter systems are very weak. Two, because it will be replaced along the line. Two, it's expensive. Mm. Is it part of your cost? Or somebody else will come and say that your direct cost has gone that high. And that is why we must be measured. For us to continue to deliver, they should not match us against. Because you begin to let people now juggle their way because he's going to be marked with a marking scheme that is not known to you. And so you are hazarding guests. And because we know as a water utility, this is our marking scheme. And if somebody else is measuring me with another marking scheme, then I have to get myself moving from left to right to see where I can cover. And so mm. is this a responsibility of Ghanaians? This is a utility company for Ghanaians. Do we want 
effective and efficient system? Do we want a profitable organization? Do you want us to be able to take care of our costs? These are questions that we yeah, need but to yes, answer. Yeah, but I mean, but you, you, I mean we'll, we'll come back and talk about all of these things. Uh, we need to go for some few messages. When we return after these messages, we'll, do a, I mean, we'll look at a few things. You've talked about uh, all the challenges you're going through and even technology, how much that is going to cost you. Uh, but when it comes to Galamse, your, 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 your government, the government that appointed you, is supposed to be fighting Galamse. There's been a lot of talk about it. How come it's still impacting you negatively? This is up front on the Joy News Channel. I'm Winston Amor, and tonight we're joined by Dr. Clifford Brahma, who is MD of the Ghana Water Company Limited. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right, so welcome back and thank you very much for staying with us. You're on Upfront on the Joy News channel with me, Winston Amoa. And tonight we're joined by Dr. Clifford Bramer, who is the MD of the Ghana Water Company Limited. So we're talking about uh, the challenges that you're going through before we went for that break. Galamse, you are appointed by government, your government. They're supposed to be fighting Galamse. We have said Galamse is a major problem affecting this nation. So if they're unable to fight it, I'm sure if they were able to fight it, we wouldn't be where we are today with you complaining about the challenges you're facing in Obuasi, for instance, in another part of the country. Yes. Uh, my brother, uh, you are only not given a right as a citizen of this country. You got a right because you have a responsibility. So why will you keep the right on your right hand? And, be and because and human throw the responsibility? Because human beings will do the wrong things. That's why there's enforcement of law and order. Uh, but the citizens must participate mm -hmm. in enforcing the law. If the citizens decide not to, how is the state agencies going to? Because you can't have a policeman in every home. You can't have a policeman in every street. It is difficult. And that is why we will have to be responsible as citizens. And so you cannot just say that because there are laws, everything will go right. No. I travel with our minister to one of the areas. Clean water in the afternoon, early morning, dirty water. Because if you look at the turbidity levels, what it means is that whilst the security agencies are asleep, people are busily working there. How are they going to stop this if people, especially the citizens of those communities, do not participate in letting the state know that this is what is happening. How are you going to stop it? Mm. And that is why, for me, let's hold it to. You have a right, good. Demand it, it will be given. But don't forget there's a responsibility. The more we juggle them together, I think we'll have something. But if any little thing, we are looking at the, 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 the group or the structure called government, uh, we must be missing the point. Because we all will have to participate in getting this right. And that's why I tell my staff, and I'm happy, look, you come to Ghana Water Company today, it is like one block, we move together, and that's why we are achieving what we are achieving. Mm. And we should, as a country, move together. Do not say that, I want to see this one failing. Let him fail today. Tomorrow you come, it will take you time to correct it before you put the improvement. Okay. And at the end of it, you are creating problems for the country. Galamse can only be fought if Ghanaians decide that we are going to fight it. Go to Weja. Weja. It is, the lake is now within a build environment. Mm -hmm. As of last year, GWCL was using 200 bags of aluminum sulfate to treat the water for Accra people. Today we are using 300 bags. Why? Because people discharge they are waste into rates. Mm. They do all sorts of things across. But we, sat, I mean, we sat down and Who sat? We sat down. We could see it coming. Who sat and we could see people getting close to the uh, uh, lake. But are you we, aware? We could see. Are you aware there's a buffer? Mm -hmm. Yes. There is a buffer. So if people defy that, and, the, and, the, and those people are not Ghanaians? They are Ghanaians, but and those people don't bring the water. ability to enforce that they do not get there. Why did we wait for them to get there only to turn around and complain? That's my question. Why did we wait for them to get there only to turn around and complain? 
Shall I cite you an example? Every time GWCS spill water from the Ouija, a lot of homes are flooded. Yes. They are washed away. Yes. Do you have to take the live dog's tail out of fire? Do you have to do that? The live dog, the dog is alive. And the tail is in fire. And you will have to go and take it out for the dog? No. You are aware that every year there's a problem here. But Ghanaians are there. Suck them. And they, even the water has sucked them, but they've returned. And they know the water will come again. So, and so attitudes. And that is why the responsibility aspect of it must be serious. We cannot be waiting for people to come and tell you that this thing you are doing is wrong. And when the states begin to clamp on them, have you not seen before? Mm. People will come out to fight. And if you are a politician who has two eyes, because you are looking at the development, and you are looking at, because it is because you are, re, you are elected. Okay. That is why you have the capacity to do what you are doing. Mm. So let's look around. Take a decision mm -hmm. and you don't have re-election. What happens? And so, at least you've done the right thing. No, but the politician, will, so the politician will continue to, to look at the cost and depending on what the person thinks. But you are, yeah, in, power, you are in power to do good things. You are so in do you power allow, to transform that, the country. So do you so, allow, so, do you so allow, why, do you, why, why should your continuous stay in office be the problem? After all, posterity would judge you and judge you positively. Why should, I mean, the fact that if you, if you do the right thing, which will benefit the majority of Ghanaians, how would that cost you an election? Why so, 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 that cost so, you an election? so why will Ghanaians come fighting you for taking that action? Few Ghanaians are fighting. Not few Ghanaians. Have you counted them? Few Ghanaians. No, have you counted well, them? Well-meaning Ghanaians will, com please, will commend please, you for please, what you're Please, doing. please, 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 please. Let's, let's, let's be realistic. And, and, and being realistic is, it, is that is it, is it, it takes political decisions when it, it comes no, to water? No, mm -hmm. no. As for water, I can tell you, we are doing what we are doing because the kind of independence that is required, we have it at GWCL. So what decisions are we taking then? The people who are still there, getting close. It's not, you say, you say, GW, you say, GWCL, unfortunately, mm -hmm. GWCL pays for uh, some fees for abstraction. There are different agencies of seats that is running some of this. Thing. Okay. So you can't put all of us together. Mm. So we all have our, but first and foremost, Ghanaians will have to take the right they have with their responsibility. We have five minutes to go. We have five minutes to go. Now, you, you, you talked about the fact that the tariffs are inadequate. Um, you're looking at increased tariffs. What are you, um, you know, proposing to the uh, PURC? You, you have seen the costs. Normally what we do mm -hmm. is all the legitimate expenses that we make, they come into the tariff. Yes. Exactly. Then the efficiency factors also then come in. So we get the numbers, we talk about them, but to be frank with you, uh, Sometimes, Ghanaians look at affordability. And because PURC is also working within such an environment, they will also have that. But affordability versus costs of doing the business. These are two things we'll have to continue to be debating. And so you will have to meet somewhere to say that, okay, let's do this. And because they don't see us as going to make that profit that people think about. They still will not give you the full tariff that we want because they still want to satisfy some category of, of people. And that is why I will keep saying it, that if you measure us on that level, you will go wrong. And so we all will have to begin to look at, okay, what parameters are they using elsewhere to do that? Because if you want percentage efficiency, 1%, to add 1%, you require injection of some resources. Mm -hmm. To even maintain a level of efficiency, 
you still need to put in some additional resources. And so these are things that, one, the efficiencies that I was talking about, you are looking at non-revenue, you are looking at collection efficiency, it has to be across. Yeah, you are looking at your, your, your uh, 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 the maintenance schedules, mm. you, are looking, you, are, you are looking at your energy utilization, you are looking at your chemical utilization, all those things pay. So pay. what percentage increase are you proposing? This is for PRC to give. But you, you have a, I said proposing. Um, if you I, have if, proposed. Yes, we are proposing because we are in the, we are in the business. Yes, so, so what, I, what percentage I, have you proposed? Uh, we have proposed a reasonable percentage. Which is? It is difficult for me to mention it here because I have not brought the tariff proposal. They've just even returned it because of the changes mm. for us to review it. I think we are just finishing up to resubmit it. So we are meeting next week. Mm. So I'm sure by next week we should, we should, we should have. But, you have, I mean, but you have an idea of what you wanted them to do for you, right? You, you, you. Uh, but it's difficult. You see, you don't have the power. Yeah, All but, is yeah, to but, propose. Okay, but, so my proposal cannot yeah, so, be... So, so for you... Uh, hello, proposal, proposal, proposal cannot be... How, I mean, what, I mean, what percentage of increase? That's a wish. Yes, your wish. So you, don't sell, wish? You, don't, you, don't, you don't sell wishes. What is your wish? We don't sell wishes in the way. Ghana Water Company will not want to sell our wish. No. You are, a, you are wishing, and you are not the one who takes the decision. Mm -hmm. And so it's better you just keep your wish in your heart. The proposal that they brought back to you, have they reduced the... Uh, no, they haven't. No, no, they, they said we should, because it's been some time. We, we, we should have had the, I think the major tariff review should have been 2021, I guess, because we did 2019. And if you look at from 2017, with all these increases in cost, take the tariff increase of water. It's virtually flat. Virtually, virtually flat. But the costs have gone up and up and up and up. And we are expected to meet some efficiency level, mm. it is impossible. Uh, sorry, I say efficiency, to profitability level. It is impossible. It is impossible. And for that matter, GWCL will not sit here and say that we are proposing 10%, 15%, 20%. We can't do that. You propose 10%, you are giving 5%. What will you do? And the 10% that they will listen to today, is that the expectation? No. And so there's no point to even give out any figure. But we are going for a tariff review. It was last year, too, because of COVID and those things. PRC, because we couldn't even meet to discuss some of these things. And consultations could not have taken place because before they do that, they bring interest groups to come and meet us. We all make our presentation, they ask their questions, then we, 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 we also answer them. Mm -hmm. So we come together but because of COVID. They couldn't. So that's why 2021 we couldn't, and they're going to do it in 2022. So all this mm -hmm. are lags. Okay. Who bears the additional cost we have incurred? Who bears it? Fine. Exactly. Who bears, Who bears it? it? And so mm -hmm. somebody looks at the numbers and says that you have not performed. When there are a lot of restrictions around you, you don't have the freedom to move around. Dr. Clifford Brimer, thank you very, very much for joining us. And Dr. Clifford Brimer is MD of the Ghana Water Company Limited. Uh, joining us this evening on Upfront on the Joining Channel. My name is Winston Amon. Uh, please make sure you join us tomorrow on the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 FM. There's a very important conversation coming up. It's uh, with the managing partner of AB and David, David Fosudote, as we discuss our country, Ghana. Make sure you catch us on the Super Morning Show. Have a lovely evening.